Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and today I thought we would have a little fun with some luxury makeup. This is the La Prairie Skin Caviar Concealer Foundation and I was asked if I would use this on camera again and then as since we were doing that I thought we would bring out some more luxury products such as another one of the Chantecaille we're gonna be using this beautiful luminescent eye shade in Elephant. A little bit of Surratt, some Chanel, <laughs> um, some new Chanel. And if you are interested in seeing how I got this look using some, some luxury products, then let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we are going to use the beautiful Elephant Chantakai. Ooh, you guys, this is such a gorgeous shadow. Let me give you a little up close. Ooh, so pretty. I'm gonna give you a dry swatch and a wet swatch. You guys, look how pretty that is. Now, this one probably is not as unique as the Pangolin, but it is just something I knew that I would wear. You guys, these are so pretty. You guys, here is the dry swatch, and then here is the wet swatch. Now, as you can see, there is some glitter parts in here, and I know many of you were concerned about those. I am really enjoying these shadows, but yes, I think you want to probably put on your makeup first before you um, do your eyes. Now, the other day I just did, I always do my foundation first <laughs> and then do my eyeballs, but um, I'm gonna do eyes first and then we will go into foundation. Okay, I'm going to start you guys with by just laying down a little bit of this just in my crease. This is from the Tom Ford Coco Mirage. You could use whatever shadow you want. I am just wanting to lay like a little bit of a crease shade down before I put on Elephant. I'm gonna use it dry. You can also, I've wet it, I wet this just a little bit to give you a swatch so it is slightly damp. You guys, this color is so pretty. just gives you it's a really pretty taupey gray but then it almost has a little bit of gold shimmer in it now again i like a little bit of shimmer you guys but i noticed that some of you have been concerned about these shadows to me this is sort of a more sophisticated glitter versus um like a glitter bomb but that is just me i just i'm showing you just am so in love. This is just a really pretty color. This is gonna be on the more cool side versus the warm. I'm gonna close my eyes. Just a really pretty color. I had to pick up a new purple chalk because I had <laughs> gone through my other one, so I was a little bit sad. Um, I have also, you guys mentioned that the Chantecai liners are so good, so I will pick up one of those next. But again, this is my favorite formulation as the Chanel Stilo U Waterproof. Once you put these on, they do not budge and just super pretty. So I thought that purple chalk would look really pretty with Elephant. I'm gonna put purple chalk in my waterline. I think this just sort of brightens up your eyes. Now, I think that purple chalk and elephant make just a gorgeous combination. 
This is the Chantecai Luminescent Eye Shade in Elephant. Space for Giants protects elephants and their habitat and the communities that surround them by investing in parcels of land, providing frontline security, boosting wildlife crime convictions, and stopping and stopping elephants from raiding people's crops by building smart fences across Kenya, Gabon, Uganda, and Botswana. With this collection, Shantakai will give back to their important work. So that is the other thing that you can feel good about with Shantakai. It's a very philanthropic brand. <laughs> so even though I know these are $52 each, that at least you can feel good that you're giving back a little bit. And the packaging is to die for. I love elephants, you guys, so sweet. And this color is just something that I find that I'm gonna wear a lot. So I am going to put on some mascara and then we will do um, the rest of my face. Okay guys, eyes are on, so pretty. I love elephant. Okay, I had a request from a subscriber if I would pull out my La Prairie. This is the Skin Caviar Concealer Foundation and use that again on camera. So of course you guys, if you ever want anything like that, just let me know. I'm always happy to oblige. So we are gonna use this guy. This is a really special, <laughs> this is a really special foundation and yes, I still use it and love it. Now this one, the fragrance in this for some reason does, my skin doesn't quite love it, like it's not something I'm gonna use every single day, but it does like the skincare benefits. This guy just has this magical property that kind of makes your skin just look amazing. Um, I know it sounds dumb, but I'm by no means saying rush out and get this. This is an expensive, I think it's $230 now. I'm not exactly sure, you guys. They keep raising the price. So I kind of save this for special occasions or just when I kind of want to make sure that my skin is looking amazing. You do not need to use much. So one thing I would tell you is I've had this for more than a year and I do use it, and but just not all the time and it's totally lasted me. So I'm gonna take just a few little dots on the paddle. And you guys, I am in the color Warm Beige. And then I'm gonna take my It Cosmetics and I am just going to buff this into my skin. Now I did my eyes first, so if there was any sort of glitter fall out, I saw just a teeny bit, you guys, nothing too horrible. Every time I pull this out and wear it, I'm like, why don't I wear this more? It is just, can you guys see? It just really perfects your skin, but it's gonna look like skin. It is not going to look like you have makeup on. And you can build this up too. Um, it just has a really pretty finish to it. And you guys, the scent smells good. <laughs> it just that it, some, you guys, I can handle some fragrance in my um, foundations. No, I don't like it, but many of them put it in. Um, this one it is great, but I found that if I, I was wearing it consistently every single day, I started to get a few little red dots right where I tend to get my rosacea. Um, and just, just a little bit, but it was more when I was wearing it every single day. So this is something that I do still love and still use. And today I'm gonna go ahead and use the concealer that comes with, why not? It is a very thick consistency and I feel like you really need to warm it up and a little goes a long way. It is not a bad concealer whatsoever. It just is one of those that I feel like you need to use the warmth of your fingers to really melt this into the skin and very little is needed. So I would say that is one thing with this foundation, 
very little needed to cover your entire face and get a really flawless finish as well as very little so if that helps anybody if they're wanting to purchase okay so this is the foundation on you guys it is a beautiful foundation i do really like it um do i think it's worth the money probably not you guys i have a ton of other really nice foundations that i enjoy but if this is something that you're wanting to splurge on totally get it that's how i was i had a gift card and I just felt like, oof, I've been wanting this for years and the price keeps on going up and up. And if you're someone who actually like uses a full foundation, you know, you get it and then use it, then I would say go for it. It is a beautiful kind of skin-like foundation. It's gonna make your skin look really healthy, um, but it's not gonna look cakey whatsoever. Okay, let's gonna attempt it today i'm gonna finish off my makeup i'm gonna use my serrat here i'm gonna use that grease cell and we are just gonna sculpt out some cheekbones I'm gonna use this pretty pink today, guys. Just a little bit of flush. I just think, you guys, these powders are just so silky and luxurious. I am still very much into this brand. And while I'm thinking about it, I'm gonna be going to New York to see my son in November. And I'm definitely going to be hitting up a Surat Beauty counter to look at that. Okay, so you guys let me know if any of you live in New York where I need to go. Now, I did just pick up one of the new La Rouge, Rouge Duo. This is the Ultra to New, and I got this in Intense Nude. You guys, I love this formulation. And this one just looked like it might be perfect for me. I'm gonna see here, I'm gonna swatch. Now you guys, once you put these on, they last forever. And then they dry down and then you use the other side and then you put that on, it sort of like locks it in and then it's glossy. So I really like those. So what I'm gonna do first, you guys, I am going to line my lips and today I'm gonna be using the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat, and this is in Love Trap. Let me do a quick little, I thought that might look good together. So this one's just gonna be a little deeper, but I'm gonna put that on real quick. Okay, let's give this guy a go, see if this is gonna be a good new addition. Here is Intense Beige. And you guys, I'm just gonna let this dry down real quick. And then this shade will stay on all day long. That's what's so <laughs> cool about them. And for someone like myself that kind of needs to define their lips, I just find these to be fantastic. Okay, now that it is dried down, I'm going to go ahead and take the gloss and we're just going to lock this guy. This is Intense Nude. I think it's a really pretty shade. Um, it is not, I have tender beige that tends to lean a little bit more brown, um, which I like. It's kind of a brown nude. This one I would say is going to be slightly more rosy than that one, but I think it's like a really nice fall shade. Um, it's just nice and neutral. So to me, that's a little bit more on the peachy side versus my tender beige that is a little bit more brown slash pink. So a little bit out there for me. Okay guys, this is the final look. I hope you found this video 
helpful. And I just wanted to let you know I have some really fun videos coming up this week. Stay tuned for Wednesday, important day. And then I also had a request to compare the Chanel Ultra Latente and the Ultra Latente Velvet. So I have these in hand. I will be showing you this as well. And as always, you guys, thank you so much for your support. And I will talk to you guys soon.